these are um, these are my another group of my metallic veils, and these are uh, a product of crossing a mock metallic from the English strain to uh, a Chinese veil tail female that was uh, purchased from Tommy Hui in Texas. And um, in one group, I had a whole lot more fantails. And this is the group that had mostly fantails. Few veils. Another group that I'll be uh, taking a video of in a few minutes also had uh, mostly fans, but had a lot of veils. Had a lot more veils. Tails aren't quite as squared off, um, but the uh, the has tall dorsal have have veil like uh, characteristics. I did keep one here that has really more fan tail just to keep it around and in case I want to use it for some other purpose. But um, coloring out a little later there is probably one of the nicer ones in this group. Actually, a pretty nice one here. Just gonna turn it on. Behind this fan tail. I can get it. Tough. It's got a tall dorsal like a fan and a very nice uh, erect tail. So I've got high hopes for this fish. Uh, long term ways. It's the most active fish in the tank. I don't know why it just doesn't seem to want to move around now. But, uh, this, this uncolored one is just starting to color out on the belly. That's a pretty nice fish. This fish actually reminds me of a, a lot of a, on another um, fish I had last year that just developed into an incredible veil tail. The tail naturally fills out with age. Look at that dorsal. So, uh, we'll see. This might be the new new beginnings. 